What up, man? Oh, my bad. There we go. Chronicles of the Juice, man. My whole life story. You get this tomorrow. There's a lot of positivity. A lot of passion. A lot of pain. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in North Memphis. I loved it. Because it made me who I am today. Leader. Wouldn't take it back for nothing. And it actually... Um, it had me in trouble, but it got me out of trouble. How about that? I learned a lesson from a lot of things. Growing up in North Memphis. And I talk about it in my book. Which drops tomorrow. Yep. Talk about... Things that uh, me and Three Six Mafia, uh, things that we went through. I talk about uh, a lot of stuff in the music business. People I work with, uh, my mental health. I talk about a lot about my mental health. So I mean, look, you gotta read this junk, man. You can get the audio too. You type of person that you know don't want to read shit. That's cool. You can get the audio too. Listen to the audio. Yeah, man, we in New York right now. I'm in an Uber. Well, Y'all probably heard me say that a hundred times, but I'm just letting you know where I'm at and let you know what I'm doing. Um, I think it's important you know. It's important you know. Yeah. You ain't gonna never. There ain't no book out like this book. All right. Let's get a look at it. You want to read some pages? Let's see. A lot of great things in here, man. A lot of things that are heavy at the edge of your seat. Um, let me see. Uh, a lot of pictures, too. Cool pictures, man. Picture here with me and Kobe Bryant in this jump. Rest in peace to the legend. So you probably can't see that. It's just dark, but uh, that's the rock. Me and Kobe, we was at um, I was at some event that um, Mello invited me to. Shout out to Mello. And uh, I met Kobe Bryant, man, the legend. Yeah. It's me and Wiz in the back. Tour bus, me, Wiz, and Burner. MGK. The rock. It's a cool book, man. Let's see if we find some page to read. Where can I start? Where can I start? Where can I start? Let me see. Read y'all something else in here. Uh, big business. After the success of Chapter 2 World Domination, we had no intentions of slowing down. Deb debut solos from Endo G Gangsta Boo were coming up next. But I, as I seen with the limo situation, Boo was hard to deal with. None other, than, none other than less, she was just so good at rapping. Y'all gotta read the rest. Gangsta Boo was, rest in peace. She was a, um, I mean, she was a lyricist, man. She, like, we used to do shows. We would do shows, right? She would. Um, We'd be performing on stage. She would just like be sitting down. And then as soon as she step up, like when our part come on the song, she step up, grab the mic, start rapping. Whole fucking club go crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you gotta read the book, man. Rest in peace, Gangsta Boot. Crockers of the Juice, man. Yeah. Face ass.